Alright, so what do we got here? Version 3.0, The Morn A Thousand Roses Brings, trailer of Genshin Impact. Now this uploaded around August 13, so that will be around... I guess it's around one and a half week, I would say. Okay, but first of all, I don't want to set my expectations high on this one, alright? Well, I guess there is nothing I can do for this one. It's been a week for still making love money rock and roll content for that one. Let's be real, alright? Let's be. I'll, I'll be real this time. Ever since that game, I make love money rock and roll. I'm so invested to that game, and I also mentioned that game has a sentimental value to me. So I just keep making content to the point I forgot about everything on Genshin. And now Tower of Fantasy just came into my life. And now I'm also having fun playing Tower of Fantasy as well. To the point that I already ignore Genshin. So does that make me a cheater? Yes, it is. Ah! Okay, let's trace back to the what's happening on each region that we're introduced in the game. Mondstadt. We cleared that up ever since when the game was launched. Now, Leo Wei was introduced. Now, ever since that we finished the Arkham Quest on Mondstadt, we decided to explore all the regions on Liyue. Now, the same thing that happened, and we waited for almost a year before Inazuma has been released. Now, what do we usually do after completing all exploration on those two regions? Nothing. Grinding artifact domains, collect each talent box in order to max up your talent levels on the character that you like mostly and then you gotta wait for a couple of months or a couple of years or to collect enough Prima Gems to get the character that you wanted on the next version I would say and then you just announce and then a new announcement has been arrived as the biggest update for Genshin and then you're gonna do the same thing on the new region as well and you're gonna do the same thing that will happen right here in version 3.0 the release of Sumeru now if they're keeping milking up this content and they're not gonna add something that is completely permanent in this one then I gotta say, the popularity is at stake right here, so they need to catch up sometimes. And also, Tower of Fantasy is also catching up as well, so they need really they really need a competition for that one. But uh, anyway, that's enough for the rant, and this is a 6 minute video. Oh my god, this is way different than I have encountered so far. Yeah, except this one. I've already seen that one before. But anyway, this is the reaction video of version 3.0 of Genshin Impact. So without further ado, let's get into it. Have you heard of Ermin's Soul before? The Dendro Archon is known as the God of Wisdom because her consciousness is directly connected to it. To the people of Sumeru, she's not only a symbol of wisdom, but also of power and kindness. Unfortunately... She disappeared in a great calamity a few hundred years ago. They just rechanged the format of the trailer design. Nice. Now, I already seen a lot of trailers recently in Genshin. Except this one, which they have now a border on, on top and the bottom as well. I'm not sure if they can add the border on the, both sides as well. <laughs> but anyway, they... they make some change i guess but no don't set your expectations high on that one again the sages later found the newly born dendro archon and whisked her back to sumeru it's lesser lord kusanoi's it's birthday nilu nilu's dance of yeah. nilu or nilu i don't care all right i don't care performance at the subseris festival the goddess of flowers began to dance nedro grana yeah you can see that stars began to bloom wherever she stepped Mm -hmm. we're just tiny people compared oh, to the divine, nice. we still have to do our best to make sure that the birthday girl feels loved on her special day. The stage is going to be hey, just a bunch of mushrooms, mobs, yeah, another mushrooms. Hmm. Training Forest Major Kale reporting for duty. And there goes Kale. Hi. Fly. Boomerang bow and. It's the same thing that Amber has. On... The has been recorded in Sumeru from <laughs> yeah. Millennium. It's said that it originates from the Nice. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm afraid we rangers will be battling the Withering Zone. Yeah, and the song is quite loud. Hang on. And the song is quite loud. Hang on. Let me uh, lower this lower this thing down. Uh, my my ears are hurting. Come on. Come on. So already in decline. As we got Tainari. Tinari or Tainari, I don't know. Okay. Elemental skill, elemental burst, alright. It's called an Akasha tournament. 
It's a tool produced by the Academia that utilizes the legacy of Greater Lord Luca Devata. You may use an Akasha terminal to connect directly to the Akasha and access any knowledge you need. Hmm. Now, every time when they introduce a new character in this version update, we already know which one of it is an elemental skill and which one of it is elemental burst. It's self-explainable. And yeah, gotta love the music though, but it's kind of loud, so I gotta tone down a little bit. Sorry. The divine knowledge capsule should be up for a secret auction within the next few days. Use it, and you'll gain the wisdom of the gods. I need you to find someone, a traveling merchant. It's Dory. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, it is really loud. <laughs> Yeah, good thing I toned down the volume. Nice. A new domain. Nice. Artifact domain. Boss fight. Electro Red just fine. New puzzles, I would say. New ruin guards. Hmm. You all saw that just now? The Grand Sage ordered us to stop the performance. Maybe they see Lesser Lord Cusinelli's birth as confirmation of Greater Lord Rukadabata's death. Hmm. Aren't you ashamed of pursuing such frivolous and meaningless activities in this land oh. of knowledge and reason? This device, it's extracting energy from the ley light. Mm. It looks like he used the divine knowledge capsule. Aramites, all right. Festival. There goes Al Haytham. Oh. This must be the deepest layer around Sumeru. Oh no, it's the Lecter again. And it's Nahida. Alright. And I guess that's it then. <laughs> Alright, so new events. Grave and Innocence for some rue. Yeah, just another photo event or something. <laughs> Same thing that we did on version 2.6. Come on. Mm hmm. Yeah, Electro Ridge is fine. First gameplay. Mm hmm. A bunch of events, and we got. Okay, free four star character as you can see it from here. Primo gems and crowns. And a dendro crystal. Hmm. It's kind of fun to see different reactions now that in dendro element has been introduced. But uh yeah, no thank you for that one. Tablet analytics. So Ah, okay, I remember this one. It's the same event that we encountered on version 2.7 um, or 6, I can't tell. Lost Riches, the same event that we did on version 1.1 um, or 2. And we got the free Sealy, the green one, yes. Fies Trials. Hmm. Okay, so this is different. You can use your camera and pinpoint... Okay, pinpoint weaknesses and... Hmm? Oof. Lane and Overflow, it's the same thing. It's quite basic. It's self-explainable. And a new artifact set. So we got Deep Wood Memories. Dendro damage bonus, 15%. Okay, now this is a lot of grind to take. Now, since they could introduce Dendro Element on version 3.0, the chance of getting that specific element on your cup i think might be around five percent the same thing that will apply on different elements as well so no thank you for that one i'm just gonna pull up the attack percentage cup on those characters and then i'm good with it i'm fine with it now we got four p skill and burst hit opponent danger resistance has been decreased eight seconds all right 
self-explainable i would say <laughs> the same thing it, it also apply those artifact those applications for the four piece set also applies to other four uh, artifacts as well i don't know what element that what artifact that is but uh yeah i just want to to delve into in the details of it all right and we got gilded dreams elemental mastery plus 80. all right dragon elemental reaction will receive buff depending on depending on the elemental type attack increased 14 percent all right mastery 50 every party member uh to three count count characters and then it's eight second counts all right all right that's hmm. all right all right a lot of details a lot of details in it a new weapon post hunter's path so that must be tainari's signature weapon i would say but uh i don't know I don't know okay and we got end of the line which is the same thing that happened on the tuna one from the moonlight merriment festival i would say if i remember correctly yes and it actually it does have a f additional refinements on, on that one and yes it's free and they're gonna have the bow on that one so i'm gonna presume this might be a free bow to claim on those events anything else new weapons Swords, Sapwood, Moonpiercer, Force for Gallia, Fruit of Fulfillment, and King Squire. Hmm. Oh wait, I kind of like the sword one right here. Hmm. I kind of like the design of this one. But the rest? Hmm. Yeah, I gotta take a closer look at that one. If I got lucky on getting those billets. <laughs> Alright. Well, I guess that's it for the version 3.0 reaction of Genshin Impact. So as I said at the beginning, do not set your expectations high on this one, all right? Now, I'm gonna have I'm gonna presume too that once the version release day 1, speedrunners will come out first and they're gonna make a content for that one, making guides on how to solve the puzzle, how to locate this chest, how to complete the world quest and such etc etc to the point that other content creators are also did catch up as well to the point that they no longer have the discoverability to their channel the same thing that happened to me as well but regardless it is what it is what's done is already done and thank you so much guys for watching and i'll see you guys on version 3.0 and take care stay safe goodbye